What's up, y'all? Got a banger from men only. Let's get straight into it. This is the story of me agreeing to get an older woman pregnant and then her trying to ruin my life. This is the story of a girl <laughs> who kind of river and drop. That's just where my head went. I'm sorry. When I was 23, I had a one night stand with a girl from my hometown named Maria. We both knew it was nothing more than that and we didn't speak after. Several months later, I received a text from her saying that she hadn't been lucky in love and she wanted a baby before it was too late. So she asked if I would get her pregnant and I wouldn't have to bear any responsibility, like a sperm Stupid. donor. So I considered it. Sperm donor, but doing it the natural way. I see you, buddy. First thought, no. But after some, you know, time to think about it, I thought it'd be the right thing to do for someone. The right thing to do. So Fuck. silly, bro. Hero, Don't be a girl's hero, bro. So we filled out an ironclad agreement, and you know, basically, I would wouldn't be responsible at all. A while later, she told me she was ovulating, and then a few an weeks after- ironclad agreement, bro. God. After that, she told me she was pregnant, and it had worked. I went back to California for work, and we didn't speak after that. Unbeknownst to me, she contacted my family behind my back and invited them to the baby shower. They then Ooh. began getting dinner or whatever regularly, and as she got to know my parents, my parents started encouraging me to be in the baby's life, and once I found out it was a little girl, I thought it was the right thing to do. I flew home. Hey, good on him. Good on him for stepping up and be a dad, being a dad. To be there for the birth. And I got a tattoo of our daughter's middle name before she was born. After our daughter was born, Maria wanted us to be together and be a family. And when I said I didn't want to do that, she wouldn't let me see my daughter. My main source of income at the time was the Airbnb that I owned. And she said this a few months after she was born. I felt bad, so I let her move in for several months. The baby and I need to stay in your house for like two months, just like two months, <laughs> so I can get our own place so that I can save a little bit more. I'm taking a positive uh, position remote, which comes with a huge pay cut, but I won't have to pay our daughter daycare so I can be home with her. It looks like we're closing on this property on June 9th in Metairie. Uh, hopefully I said that right. So I'm hoping to be packed up out of this apartment the weekend prior to the 9th. I'll put all of my stuff in the storage except for our clothes. Can we stay there? Um, kind of important you respond, good Lord. Free. Once she moved out, she told me this. I've never done anything to warrant. This is what I want. I want you to pay for her daycare. You can have her one full weekend a month if you stay at your parents. Let me know if this were. Oh, my Lord. Supervised visits, but I agreed to keep the peace. I would come home as often as I could to see our daughter. And things were usually okay when I was there. These are all from her Facebook. One Halloween, I didn't want to wear matching costumes with Maria. So she wouldn't let me see my daughter for a while. And when our daughter was being baptized, I drove a 14 hour round trip from Nashville to attend. And because I didn't want to see Maria the night before, she didn't allow me to come to the baptism at all. Soon after this, she served me with child support saying that our original contract wasn't valid because our daughter didn't have a social security number yet. Oh. And I didn't fight her on it. Uh, I didn't have the time, I was living away. Stupid. I ended up paying her $10,000 up front and 750 a month. I was able to move home soon after that and I began seeing our daughter regularly. Everything was going really well until I got a girlfriend. Even though she had a boyfriend who was regularly around our daughter, she said that my girlfriend couldn't be around our daughter. I was able to get our daughter for an afternoon and Maria asked what I was doing. I told her that I was with my girlfriend and we were at Lowe's together. She freaked out. Oh God, out. this is why you should not be a simp. God, these women will do anything to fedangle you into getting a kid. She basically just finessed this man into getting some child support, bro. This seems like a good dude. He's a good looking guy, blonde hair, blue eyes, looks a little bit taller, got some meat on his bones. She saw him as a target in a market and he took the bait. Stupid. Come on, bruv. I'd said I'd bring her up an agreement. Come on. Daughter back to her as soon as we were done, but instead Maria drove to Lowe's apparently called my dad and was running up and down the aisle screaming. I don't know what actually happened, but she was freaking out, just blowing up my phone, thinking she was in danger. And keep in mind, my girlfriend is a mom as well as a nurse. Our daughter was never in any danger. When I offered Maria and my girlfriend to get to know each other so they'd be comfortable, you know, with my daughter being around, she immediately said no and you know, called my girlfriend a word that rhymes with chore and refused to get to know her. Maria then made a public- I think we all know what that word is. <laughs> Door. <laughs> Both saying that I was a deadbeat dad and I hadn't seen her daughter in weeks. 
Here I am with our daughter just a few days prior to this post. I also left my best friend's bachelor party a day early so I could be home for Father's Day and she still wouldn't allow me to see her. She even said this to my grandmother. She had her friends comment mean things on my girlfriend's social media multiple times, even though my bro, girl- this is why I say you gotta watch what you stick your pee pee in, bruv. <laughs> this man could have avoided this so easily. Hey, I want you to, hey, I want you to come over and blow my back out and give me a kid. How about no? How about we're not doing that? Somebody want to carry it? Free. He's tired today. Sit. Wait. Free. Go to your place. Bro, this guy seems smart. Why would you, why would you let a woman convince you to blow cheese in her when you really don't want to be with her, bro? This is not how the world really works. I just want a kid. I just, th this is just what I want. I want a sperm donor, but ugh, come on, dude. You gotta be smarter than this. Friend has never been anything but nice to Maria. Because Maria tends to do this, I want to make sure that she doesn't twist the story and make it seem like I abandoned our daughter. I recently found out that our daughter isn't mine. I don't know who the dad is, but I've had two paternity tests done and they both say this. I believed Maria when she told me that I was the only possible father. The situation was weird, but I was always happy to be a dad. I, I knew that Maria already knew she was pregnant. She had to have. She's a runner. She's a track star. <laughs> I love it. When she asked me to get her pregnant, I didn't think that, that was something that someone would lie about to another human being. Not only and his name me, is Brett, <laughs> but you can't make this up. Me, but my entire family as well. Everybody's distraught about this. Maria, I allowed you to paint me as the villain and you as the victim for years to keep peace. But I hope you know that the only victim here is your child. Here's the real truth. Mar wow, absolutely unreal. I can't believe this guy went through all that, but this is why these women prey on these. This is a good guy. Good looking guy. Looks like he's pretty tall. He's muscular, blonde hair, blue eyes. Like she basically targeted this man and then she was letting multiple men blow her back out <laughs> realigning her spine and then eventually found out that's not even the daddy not even the daddy let's see what she got to say to this come on bro and i'll start believing his shit um there's just a few things that i want you to take into consideration okay. is first the collection date um was august 10th 2024. Okay. Well, I had my daughter on August 10th, 2024. <laughs> These 304s like Maria have absolutely zero shame. Bro, this is wild to me. She she, she finessed this man. I gotta call a play when I see it. Throw the flag. There, <laughs> there's a foul on the play, buddy boy. She did her thing, though. You can't be stupid. Like, this is why I say, like... It, we could sit here and feel bad for this guy, but at the end of the day, he chose to stick his pen inside of her and blow his cheese. Do not blow your cheese in a chick unless you're married to her. It doesn't matter what the agreement is. It doesn't matter if she says, well, we wrote up something and you can just be like a, you can just be like a, a sperm donor, but it's not going to be like a typical one. There's a reason there's a process for sper sperm donors, bruv. There's a reason. God, I bet he's not the only guy that's been finessed this way. Don't be stupid. Okay, don't be a fool. Wrap your tool. If a chick is crazy enough to say, I want to be a single mom, single mom, you should run. I want to be a single mom. Stop it, bruv. Really honest and slightly controversial reasons why I'm still single. Number one. Because you look like one of those, um, I don't know. She looks like a Smurf. That's fired! I can't multi-date. If I fancy someone, I'm just not interested in anybody else. We're living in a culture of options and rosters. We're actively encouraged to be dating multiple people at once so that when one person lets you down, you've got other people to fall back on. I just can't do it. I'm not interested. Okay. Number two, I want to feel an instant spark. These days, we're taught instant that- Instant spark, honey, this isn't <laughs> Disney. <laughs> you want to feel an instant spark? Go get an electrician. Unhealthy if you feel an instant spark on fireworks with the person that you're dating. And supposedly it's your nervous system reacting to them being bad for you. I'm sorry, if I'm going to spend the rest of my life with someone, I want to fancy the pants off them, and I want there to be a really strong connection between us. 
I've tried dating guys in the past where there was absolutely no spark, but I kept going because I knew they were a good person, and the spark never came. So you end up just wasting people's time and wasting your own time. I've got plenty of friends who went on a date and were so excited about the person, fancied them, couldn't wait to see them again. Now they're together and happier than ever. So every time I go on a date and I'm like, mm, not really sure I've them, is the and thief. people are like... Comparison is the thief of joy. These ladies go out there and compare themselves to all these other women. Honey, you're you. You're not them. This is where a lot of modern women get caught in this trap. Well, Rebecca's doing so well with Jason and they look so happy. Well, you're not Rebecca and you can't find a Jason. So stop worrying about what other somebody else is doing. Oh no, just give him a chance. I'm like, no. I want to hold out for a really strong connection and I'm not hold wasting out. my what time. Hold out? What do you mean by that? You still got your V-card? Warm connections. I need to be heavily pursued. Like a lot of women, I've spent many years in the current dating pool, which is full of men who are low effort, they lie, they're disrespectful. They she's a runner, she's a track star. I love it when a woman tells us about her bop lore. They ghost, they lead you on and they use you. So unless a man is actively pursuing me and showing me that he's serious for a prolonged period. Right, 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 right. The next guy's got to put more effort in than the past guy. When the past guy got to hit the cheeks, you probably cooked him a meal. He got everything. But the next guy's got to wait. This is why I say, if she's making you wait, another dude hit it on the first date. Put it on a t-shirt. Time, it's not going to go anywhere. Because I'm just going to assume that he's another of these low effort, unserious men. Because in the past, whenever I felt like I didn't know where I stood with someone, it was just because they didn't like me. Past experience has taught me if a man isn't actively pursuing you and making a ton of effort, get out because he doesn't care. And that's shit for A ton of effort? You should be putting in effort for men. Shots fired! You think that you guys, you ladies are just worth everything. Honey, you're basic. Guys who are good guys, but unfortunately that's what I need. If a man isn't going to make a ton of effort, I'd rather just be on my own. Number four, I'm too quick to cut people off. I have dealt with every shade of nonsense that there is in dating. It never paid off, so I don't part with it anymore. In 21 years of dating, a man has never ever proved to me that it pays off giving a man a second chance. So now, you either come correct or don't bother. And again, a lot of men probably- Hey, just go be a single mom. Single mom. I heard that's, I heard that's the, the craze these days, <laughs> being a single mom. I'm gonna wanna be held to this standard, but I figure if I find a guy who really likes me, he won't mind. Next one, I hate how I get when I start liking somebody. You know, when you start getting a bit of a crush and you're I love it, I love it. <laughs> she wants to find someone, but then she hates herself when she finally does find someone. Like, bro, this sounds so dumb. Stupid. Get your phone, wanting to speak to them all the time, waiting for the text back. But I hate when I become that because that is when you can be disappointed. And I feel way too much and I care way too much. And sadly, in modern dating, 95% of the time, that care is not reciprocated. So I'd just rather not give my love and care to people who aren't going to appreciate it and they're just going to fuck off. Finally, I find it hard to believe that anyone is ever going to love me. I know I'm a great person and well, super- At least she kind of understands that. I've got a point on this, but let's hear. ...lovable because of how my friends and family treat me. I bring so many nice qualities to the table. I'm kind, I'm caring, I'm loyal, I'm genuine, I'm honest, I'm empathetic. I'm really reliable, but most men never find that out because they don't even want to get to know you as a person. And frankly, they don't care what you're like as a person. For the last- Well, well I'm gonna keep it a buck. Everything you just mentioned is kind of basic. Every girl should have that stuff. This is the whole thing, the argument between perspective and perception. Your perception of yourself, or sorry, your perspective of yourself is that you're a great, kind, empathetic, caring person and everybody likes you and you're so nice, but you're not perceived that way. So if you want other people to perceive you that way, you have to act a certain way around them. You may feel that you're the greatest thing to grace this earth since freaking dinosaurs, but in reality, nobody likes you. You're in this position, honey, because of all the decisions you've made up until this point, you've picked bad men. You gave up your youth, you gave up all the years of when you were actually compatible to getting a good partner, you gave those up. Now you have a bunch of trauma and you're making the men of your present pay for the mistakes and trauma of the men of your past, which means there are gonna be no future. And why would another guy come in and pay a higher price for something that's already used? <laughs> Honey, you got 200,000 miles on you. You're not, a, you're not a new car off the lot anymore. What do you mean a guy's gotta come in and like be obsessed with you? I bet you've had nice guys to come in and be obsessed with, obsessed with you and you thought it was a red flag, you thought it was an ick. So, and, and the thing is with a lot of these modern women is they hang out with their family a lot, they hang out with their friends a lot. And think about it. 
even strangers, even your friends when you're a woman, they gas you up. Girl, you are so great. Like, you don't need to change anything. Like, just do your own thing. It'll come. Like, this, you, you think this is crazy, but this happens a lot. These modern women get fed lies. But us as men, we get fed the truth. Women change their environment to fit, uh, to fit their mindset. Men change their mindset to fit their environment. So if women aren't hearing what they want to hear, they're going to go hang out with yes girls. You've heard of yes men, right? They go hang, hang out with yes girls. Yes girl, yes queen, you're great. Don't worry about it. Don't change anything. Be you. But guys, we get around each other like, bro, you're fat, you're broke, you're stupid, you're ugly, you can't dress. Go change all those things, you'll find a girl. Like we get to the point, women just don't do that. That's why a lot of them are just alone right now. Last four years, I've just been treated like someone who is only good enough for SEX, not for commitment. And I don't care how much healing and self-care that you do, you are going to take that to heart ever so slightly. But there's times where I feel like I'm just not attractive enough and not good enough for a relationship. No, I think you, I, I think, honey, I think you are. I think you're attractive enough. I think you're good enough. But I think your standards are too high. I want compliments. That is genuinely how I've been made to feel by men in the modern dating scene. And now it's very hard to feel optimistic about finding a guy in this modern generation who wants to do more than sleep with you and use you and actually wants to commit to you because he cares about you and values you as a person. And maybe one last reason, I'd rather be alone than settle. And that's settling for all of the things I've spoken about. It. Someone who dates multiple I people. I love it. You'd rather be alone than settle, but here you are on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely love it. Well, the thing is, is women are marketer, men are salesmen. Honey, what you're marketing is the S the SEX category only. And women control access to sex. Men control access to relationships. So if that's what men are buying from you, that's because that's what you're marketing. And you have access to control that, right? Oh, notice in, in not any of that, did she take accountability for her own actions and say, you know what? I need to be a little bit different. I need to vet a little bit better. I didn't say any of that. It's all men someone with whom there's no spark someone who doesn't pursue me and make effort someone who Bro, doesn't she wrote this list down <laughs> just reading off a teleprompter reciprocate love and care check my notes. and someone who doesn't see me as wife material and just wants to sleep with me i'd rather be alone your street care. material she's a runner she's a track Not star wife material wrong material honey <laughs> any of that a lot of and then this entire post here is just baiting sympathy from simps that's the beauty of it all really that's really what i love is that she's doing this online to have girls be like yes queen yes you're so great oh my god yeah and guys are like baby i think you're beautiful i would date you oh god good lord god if one more woman comes on this app is this the Timu Kim Kardashian? Shots fired! He says, what a wonderful, exceptional, phenomenal husband or boyfriend she has. Are you getting jealous? And then describes him as kind, nice, reliable, responsible. Sounds like pretty good qualities. Cleans, does laundry, helps around the house. Sounds like a good man. Is good and kind with his kids, okay. plays with his kids, never shouts, doesn't get angry and aggressive, communicates buys flowers, pays for things, opens doors, wants to celebrate holidays, remembers birthdays, remembers anniversaries, is patient, is understanding. And He's a better man than me, buddy boy. <laughs> I can't remember dates for nothing. We all collectively applaud with joy. Well, that's a good man right there. Chat, let me know. If, if a guy had all those qualities, bro, that's a solid dude. I'm going to fucking lose my shit because you're telling me that this man is considered to be exceptional, that is. phenomenal, and wonderful, and you cannot believe to have met him and to have him as your boyfriend or as your husband. It's because and they're coming from a place of gratitude and you are coming from a place of jealousy, envy, and negativity you just described a standard normal human person mm, i don't think that's the case do you agree or disagree I, I completely disagree having a lot of those qualities as a man is very exceptional guys just we're not super empathetic we're not all the way kind the world's not kind to us so sometimes we're not kind but a good kind man it's hard to find the bar is so fucking low for men 
that describing a normal it. person, a person, a human, who displays normal human traits is considered to be phenomenal, is considered to be fantastic. Oh my God, my husband is unbelievable for this. Because it's a certain level of gratitude, honey. It's the, it's the whole like optimism versus pessim, pe pessimism. Like, are you pessimistic? Are you optimistic? Do you see the, the glass half full or half empty? This is the face of somebody who sees things half empty. You keep it a buck. For doing things all women are doing every single day. For portraying characters that we all do to people we don't even know. To strangers, to co-workers, to family members. This is where we're at. Tell me you're a bitter woman without telling me <laughs> you're a bitter woman. He cleans. He opens the door. He remembers your birthday. He cuddled with you when you were sad. He bought a cupcake because you were on your period. He remembered and celebrated Valentine's Day with you. These are deal breakers nowadays. These are the things that we're calling men wonderful and exceptional for. No, I don't know about you guys. My husband is absolutely unbelievable. And then says he does laundry. Oh, he, he's such a good dad. Oh, how come? He's so kind. He plays with the kids. He knows the teacher's names. He does everything for them. He dresses them, bathes them. Is he not supposed to do that? See how negative her mind is? She doesn't even know it either. I absolutely love it. I love it. She's so negative and has no idea that her mindset is what's keeping her alone. Are we all not doing that as responsibilities? That are but see, the thing is, is when you play it down like that, there's no sense of gratitude. It's entitlement. And this is what she's exuding right now. Normal person would do. You know what you do to a woman like this if she's ever talking about this stuff? Just look at her, give it like a two, three second pause and be like, I figured you would say that. Boy, they will get so mad. They'll be like, what do you mean? I figured you would say that. Well, you're kind of the type. What do you mean? And just leave it at that. Boy, make her head boil. The bar is so fucking low. So low. Here's the thing. And she looks really happy, doesn't she? <laughs> doesn't she look like she is just like, just radiating with love and positivity? Uh, personally, I, th I, I see it in this really dim lit room in her grandma's basement. Um. <laughs> Men treat women like ladies if they dress super sexy. No. I don't want to say- the Women are marketers, men are salesmen. If you dress provocatively, we're going to treat you provocatively. You got to remember that the image that you're portraying is telling us, oh, this is how I should treat you. If you're going to dress scantily clad, you're going to dress in, you know, rags or things that look like you should be on Halloween or it's Halloween, we're going to treat you like that. First thing that came to Please my mind. Please say the first thing that comes to your mind. Say the thing. If you dress like a hoe, I'm going to treat you like a hoe. Facts. If you dress like the UPS man, I expect you to deliver the mail you dress for the occupation that you have Facts. and if you want to be scantily clad that's fine it just warrants more attention than respect so that question is what is the end result that you want and i'll tell you this right now i don't care what anybody says i have a lot of high value high earning masculine men in my life multi-millionaires single happy know who they are certain in purpose on purpose some of them are married some of them have girlfriends i have the whole spectrum right mm -hmm. genuine why are you friends with a bunch of married men in friendships with these people some are mentors i will tell you right now mm -hmm. the less clothing that a woman has on is the higher chance of disqualification for a high value high earning masculine men Facts. for the long term mm -hmm. now they, they'll take you for the night that's why yeah, men don't wife strippers fired. if that was the case strippers would be up one but they ain't sure. they'll take you for, for a couple weeks maybe a month you might get a trip and if that's all you want then that's great but if you actually want to be loved and valued by this type of man mm -hmm. you can't dress 
certain you just can't you don't get to do certain things you just don't Facts. that's why i say if you want to be a queen ladies quaint uplifting elegant empathetic and natural if you want to be a king gentlemen it's keen impervious noble and groomed you don't do you feel like that's a sense of control Oh no. my God! I, I it's don't. A modern I, woman. It's just the modern woman song. You're insecure. It's a sense of control. No, it's a standard, and you don't meet it. No, I feel I like asking. it's a sense of respect. Mm. It goes back to exclusivity. If everybody can see it, what is special about it? Facts. And this in this day and age, people are walking outside with lingerie on and Air Maxes on. Now, don't get me wrong. I love a good sexy number. Okay, I do. I, I love a good like ooh ooh la la. I am feeling myself. I'm a cleavage girl, you know. But you can't the, do both. The cleavage be cleavage. It be out, <laughs> you know. But you gotta choose. You can't have legs out and chest out and and mid drift out. I mean, you can, but you're disqualifying yourself from really attracting and calling in a high value masculine man. They don't mm. want that. It's too easy. I mean, they'll take it. Don't get me wrong, but they won't keep it. I I agree. I agree. Kenny, I got to ask you because you're a man. What, what's what's your answer? Why won't a man treat you like a lady if you dress overly sexy? I will respect the woman. Like, she's still a woman. She still dress how she wants to dress, whether it's super business casual or she's like sexy, raunchy, right? Mm -hmm. There's still a level of respect. If we're talking about let's take things seriously, yeah, it's gonna be very different. In a way. No way, because it's like you're giving yourself out visually to the whole world and mm -hmm. you're expecting me to feel exclusive about it. That's not the case. Here's the cold truth. Yeah, yeah. exclusivity is a big deal. Let me know, chat, what do you think? Do you agree with that? I 100% agree with that. I think it's a great take. Um, it's good to see women talking about this as well because like the thing is, dude, there is no way that if when I met Cass, she was wearing stripper heels and lingerie, I would have been like, oh, man, I really want to wife her. Absolutely no way, bruv. There's absolutely no way. Um, but life is a mirror, not a window. And the way women dress is basically telling men how we should treat them. All right, let's hop into the Discord. 118 members. Sorry, not the Discord, the Reddit. I'm stupid. Stupid. Uh, let's hop into the Discord. Uh, this is from Harry Net. Has this ever happened to you? All right, let's jump into this. What do we got here? I have, I don't do this anymore. All right. But I have been crazy enough to like where I have screenshotted this guy's uh, entire following list. Okay. And like you can go to the following list and it'll be like this. And I will have my screenshots like right here. And I will like be looking at them, matching them. Cause like their order should be the same. So I should be seeing like your name, their name, like this, like the, and if, and then that's how I know. If you follow another bitch, like <laughs> you one crazy ass bitch. That's what I'm saying, dude, that is nuts. Who, who has the time for that, bruv? Who has, not sure about her, why she likes, what? What is this? Why she likes gay men corn? Uh, we don't have time to watch this one. This is 15 minutes. We'll give it a we'll give it a we'll give it a whirl though. What is this, dude? Friends or at a party. On in your own right. You know it. You might have a complicated relationship with it. You'd never bring it up to your mom, your friends, or at a party, but I would. It's porn. More specifically, we're going to be talking about the, more specifically, we're going to be talking about the millions of women who watch gay male porn. All right, I'm over it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. It's too much. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just can't. I don't have 15 minutes to dive into the lore of gay corn. I'm sorry, bro. Appreciate you throwing that in there. Um, uh, beautiful disaster. Make sure when we see these, let's keep keep the stuff out of this out. I don't. <laughs> I appreciate you, Des. I really do, but like. A 15 minute video TED talk of a girl in college talking about corn. <laughs> bro, I'm not doing it. I'm not entertaining it. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Loki, did you have a good time? My man is schnookered. Um, but don't forget to cop the ebook, The Four Pillars of Personality, makes you irresistible to women and respected by men. Appreciate you guys being here. Like I said, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.